Michael Sutton comes back yeah. and he's not in great shape. Yeah. And we're so used to you looking very on point together, <laughs> very good looking. So what was it like for you to kind of get gross a little bit for this part of his life? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it was kind of nice to, you know, not have to think about maybe how I look in the morning, you know what I mean, when I wake up, but maybe I didn't, I didn't sleep as well that night or stayed up and watched a little extra TV or maybe had another glass of wine or something like that <laughs> just to prepare and, and put it all under just doing my job. You very rarely get to play like, you know, this character over a span of time. Um, and he does kind of come back within the series and, and reconnect with, you know, with Dawn, but also you know, later on in the series, I don't want to give it away, but you know, the the, the story develops, and um, it, it was it was interesting to kind of play this beaten down guy who never really made it. Did you have to do anything special with like hair and makeup to kind of achieve that look? It's what I didn't do. You know what I mean? I got this isn't exactly the color of my hair. Let's just say that. You know what I mean? I uh, I've. Uh, I have a little help, so maybe it's looking I, good though. Looks very Elvis. Well, yeah, you know, <laughs> over the years, sometimes I splurge and and I get the amazing hairdresser and I get the amazing colorist. Right now, I'm in the go to the barber for the fifteen dollar haircut and then go to CVS for the just for men number A thirty, and then bam. We love a frugal king. Let's just say that yeah. frugal king. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. Thank you. His hair is very blonde in this series, and I was surprised by that. Was it for this role? I was doing this play. It was in Jersey, but the hair person was like a Broadway person. And she came in and she was like, oh, honey. You know what I mean? Because I, I was, oh, no. she gave me the oh, honey thing. And I was like, oh, my goodness. Because I was like, I was doing the just for men a little too, too sloppily. So she sent me to this fancy person on Fifth Avenue. And that got me back into it. And then it's like, okay, you get what you pay for, right? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, now I know why people pay so much money for, you know, their hair. So I had been rocking the blondes, you know, highlights. And so that's kind of, I brought that to the table. And then that kind of worked for the character as well. <laughs>